God, I'm crying already. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 times Raj was the best character on The Big Bang Theory. Going out with Raj was one of the best things that ever happened to me. Yes, I'll take you back. For this list, we'll be looking at those times Kuthra Pali was the smartest, funniest, most romantic, or even all three. When do you think Raj was the best? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Picks up girl at Halloween party Sorry I'm late, but my hammer got stuck in the door on the bus. The whole premise of The Big Bang Theory, especially in the first season, is how nerdy the guys are and how awkward and unsuccessful they are with the ladies. How wasted am I? <laughs> When it comes to the season one Halloween party episode, the thing most people focus on is Leonard and Penny's first kiss. And while that was certainly more meaningful in the grand scheme of the show, we can't forget that on the same night, Raj went home with a beautiful girl he met at the party. And all without saying a word, it's true that silence can be golden. You're gentle and passionate. And my God, you are such a good listener. <laughs> Number nine, his love actually moment. Look, we both made mistakes. I am so sorry that I spied on you. I didn't mean to, but I know it's not okay. Now, do you want to apologize to me? Given how much Raj loves romantic comedies, it only makes sense that one of his best moments would come in the form of a gesture taken right from one of his favourites, Love Actually. Go away, Raj! In an ode to Mark using cue cards to declare his love for Juliet, Raj uses the cards to apologise to Anu for spying on her doorbell cam. What are you doing? I'm winning you back, love actually style! Yes, we know that it doesn't work and he doesn't get a sweet kiss like Mark does, but it is a romantic gesture nonetheless. Maybe it would have helped if Arnu had even seen the film. I don't know what that means. Really? You've never seen Love Actually? If you want to watch it right now, I'll just wait. Number 8 Musical Shirt <laughs> Sure, his friends thought it was lame and were embarrassed to be seen with him wearing it, but we only have one word to describe Raj's musical shirt. Awesome! Will you please turn your shirt off? <laughs> God, I'm giving myself dramatic entrance music. People will know I'm awesome and to be feared. Who hasn't dreamed about having their own entrance music play whenever they walk into a room? Well, Raj got to live that dream, even if the music was emanating from a mediocre speaker on his chest. I can't believe it. I'm gonna meet Stan Lee. <laughs> cringing the guys did when he activated his shirt, even Leonard enjoyed the use of the Law and Order Dun Dun sound effect. I'm not going to pay a fine. That would imply I'm guilty. You are guilty. <laughs> <laughs> Number 7. Hitting on Terminator when the guys see the star of Terminator, the Sarah Connor Chronicles, on their train, Howard immediately starts strategizing his plan of attack. Sheldon, I owe you an apology. Taking the train was a stroke of brilliance. I've actually got a shot at a Terminator. Oh, please, when it comes to Terminators, you've got a better shot of scoring with Arnold Schwarzenegger. But while Howard tries to work up the nerves, Raj grabs a beer and sits down with the beautiful Summer Glau for some chatting and flirting. And that bright little star peeking her head out early today, that's Venus. That is so cool. Unfortunately, the beer he is drinking is non-alcoholic, and once Howard points that out, Raj clams up and walks away. Non-alcoholic beer, yeah. <laughs> But 
but that doesn't take anything away from the initial feat of awesome flirtation. And after witnessing Howard's beyond awkward and kind of creepy flirting, Raj's best status is definitely not in any doubt. Actually, in India, the names of constellations are different. Where you have the Big Dipper, we have the Big Curry Pot. You're making that up. You got me. <laughs> now, what are you going to do with me? Number six, Valentine's Day speech. Well, how about uh, you keep the store open late and we throw a party for all the people who don't have dates? Valentine's Day is always a hard day for Raj, given that he almost never has a date on the most romantic of days. But neither does Stuart, so they decide to have a Lonely Hearts party at the comic book store rather than be alone. Nice that all the people who are lonely on Valentine's Day can come here tonight and be together. Yeah, well, I'm really looking forward to it. In fact, there's no place I would rather be than here. Except on a date with anybody. Literally anybody. And it's at that party that Raj makes a heartfelt and moving speech about self-love and community that gets him a round of applause and a date with Lucy. You gotta stop defining our self-worth by whether or not we're in a relationship. You know what I see when I look around? I see a room full of great people. Sure, she ends up sneaking out the bathroom window and leaving him at the cafe, but for one shining moment, Raj sure was the best. That was cool, what you said. You really think so? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Number five, all the girls he's loved before. Why don't we go around the room, say your name and why you broke up with me? Julio Iglesias sang a song to all the girls he loved before. But Raj Kuthrapoli took that idea to a whole other level when he invited all his exes over for a why did you break up with me focus group. Also, you know, we're incredibly vain. Like, all the time you spend shaping your eyebrows. Okay, new rule, everybody only gets one. If you think this sounds like a bad idea, you are not alone. Howard, Leonard, and at least one of the red-headed Emilys thought so too. You were so dominated by your parents. Oh, yeah, that used to drive me nuts. He's kind of a mama's boy. Kind of. Oh, okay, that's enough. <laughs> Right down, loving son. That being said, however, while it might not be something we would have the courage to do, we think it was very brave of Raj to put himself out there like that. Something that Howard pointed out when he stood up for his friend against all the harsh words. This is a man who is going to great lengths to better himself. Not even at the risk of being humiliated. And I, for one, I think that's very brave. Number four slows the Earth's rotation. And the next morning, when he woke up, he rolled over and realized, da, da, da. <laughs> she was his cousin. In the season three episode, The Adhesive Duck Deficiency, Leonard Howard and Raj head out to the desert to watch a meteor shower. While they wait, Howard meets some hippies and unknowingly brings back pot cookies for him and his friends. That's beautiful, dude. <laughs> you, should, you should write that down before someone steals it. While under the influence, Leonard starts to feel like the earth is spinning too fast and asks Raj to slow it down. What follows is one of the funniest moments of the series. I can feel the earth moving. <laughs> It's moving too fast. Raj, slow it down. <laughs> would you slow down the Earth's rotation for a friend? Raj would, and that's why he's the best. <laughs> What's so funny? Is your American accent, everything you say sounds stupid. <laughs> Stores are pretty, aren't they? <laughs> Number three, scavenger hunt. Okay, everybody. Who's ready for a Ooh. scavenger hunt? <laughs> Raj is always trying to put together fun activities for the group to do together, even if the rest of the group is less than thrilled about it. <laughs> But 
But in season 7, he creates an awesome scavenger hunt around Pasadena that, unlike the previous attempted murder mystery party, has everyone excited to participate in. You see what I did? The first puzzle is a puzzle! Oh my god, how adorable is that? And sure, the everyone wins conclusion to the hunt is lame and infuriating to everyone except Howard and Amy, who are too caught up in their love for Neil Diamond to care. Don't you see? When we're all having fun together, we're already winners. Oh, look, see? Even I'm a winner. <laughs> are you kidding me? But we gotta give Raj props for putting the whole thing together. And who could forget his most awesome of pre-game introductions with music, and even smoke bombs. And we aren't the only ones who loved it. The first team that finds it <laughs> He is a born showman. Number two, texting date. Oh, we're eating here? <laughs> we're having a texting date? Yes, the Love Actually cards thing was cute and sweet, but Raj's texting date with Lucy is truly one of the most romantic things we ever saw over the show's entire 12 season run. As you're reading, it will help you remember, I have an adorable accent. Sure, libraries generally aren't thought of as the most romantic of locations, unless maybe it's the university library in Friends where Ross teaches. But for a guy that can't talk to women and a woman that has uber social anxiety, it truly was the most perfect of places. Oh, fun! I love prom! The romance, the gowns, it's like a fairy tale come to life. Made even more perfect by Raj's idea to have them text each other rather than talk. The whole date really showed how aware Raj was of Lucy's issues and how much he cared to make her as comfortable as possible. The best. Thanks for today. I've been trying to do more things that scare me and coming here was definitely one of them. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honourable mentions. Apologises to Penny. After being a bit of a jerk, he forces out a vocal sorry without the help of alcohol. Sorry. <laughs> oh, sweetie, it's okay. Plays his parents off each other. He goes from having his allowance cut off to getting even more money. Well played, Raj. All I know, mummy, is that he's a single, wealthy doctor. And now, for some reason, there's no money for your little boy. <laughs> well, however much money your father was giving you, I'll give you more. Thank you, mummy. I love you. Helicopters for everybody! Moves in with Sheldon and hooks up with Penny. Besides Leonard, who else has made Sheldon happy and gone to bed with Penny? Just Raj. Look, this never happened. Do you understand me? <laughs> really? Still can't talk to me? Oh, natural at the coffee shop. A new medication lets him talk to girls, but has some revealing side effects. So how long have you lived in Los Angeles? I... They were out of scones. Oh, Sheldon, I'm talking to someone. You're being rude. I bet you're an actress. If not, you should be. You have a very expressive face. 30 under 30. People magazine thought he was one of the 30 best. Remember that little planetary object I spotted beyond the Kuiper belt? Oh yeah, 2008 NQ sub 17. Or as I call it, Planet Bollywood. <laughs> anyway, because of my discovery, People magazine is naming me one of the 30 under 30 to watch. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, talks to Penny sober. Hey, I'm just coming back from the airport. I wanted to see how you're doing. That's, that's very nice of you. Come, come, come on in. In the season six finale, Raj has one of his highest and most life-changing moments while in the midst of one of his lowest. It comes as he's dealing with the heartbreak of Lucy, breaking up with him via an email just when he thought things were going well. Yeah, I finally found someone who's right for me and 
I, I drove her away. Penny comes over to see how he's doing, and as he questions why he is so unlovable, they both realize that he's talking to her without the help of alcohol. What is wrong with me? Why, why can't I ever have love? You will. No, I, I won't. I, I am unlovable. Oh, that's just the booze talking. <laughs> no, it's not. I haven't had a drink since last night. Sometimes out of sorrow comes triumph. And for Raj, to finally triumph over his selective mutism was a moment that had us all cheering and, we'll admit it, maybe crying a little also. You're talking to me. I am. Ah. <laughs> and I'm crying for a whole different reason. <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.